Hello everybody, in Dom601, Warm Victory here, and here I am covering more figures, because last week I made a video on the slide 2020 figures, and earlier that week the images for the Safari 2020 figures were released. But sadly I've been unable to cover it until now, so let's just get on to the first few figures. <laughs> Alright, our first figure is the Concavenator. Uh, it looks alright. It doesn't look great. It doesn't look horrible. I still prefer the one that was released back in... 2009, I believe. I don't know, because I, I know, like, back in 2009, 2008, remember those times, Safari released the Concavenator then. Uh, and ten, or nearly, if not ten years later, they remade it. And, and as, and as with most, and as, as with, ah, and with, as most, I can't say it. And like most remakes, the original was superior. Uh, the... Sculpt is decent, I guess. I only have two faults with. I only have two real faults with the sculpt, which is this. Okay, of course the concavenator has this giant hump on its back, even though I could have sworn it was further down the body. But instead, there's this massive dent in the top of the figure. Is that meant to be there? I don't know. Because I don't really know that much about about the Concavenator, and that's the same with a lot of dinosaurs. So I don't have a clue if this is accurate or not. And another thing, an another problem is they tr they clearly tried to, to give it an. A, I'm, I'm trying to think of a way to say it without. Uh, <laughs> they tried to give it an asshole, and. Instead of giving it a back end, they instead just instead it just looks like they got a knife and just chopped into it. It's like what Collector do, but Collector actually paints and sculpts it. Uh, I feel sorry for the poor soul who has to do that. But meanwhile, in this situation, it looks like somebody grabbed a figure got a hatchet, and just slammed it into it. Apart from that, the paint is fine. I, I like the red on the head. The white doesn't appear that much. The black is fine. I don't really like this yellow that's going around. It kind of conflicts with black and white. So, first figure's decent. Not the best. Not the worst. But I most likely won't plan on getting it. <laughs> Moving on to the next one. <laughs> okay. Here we have the Deinonychus. This is probably the best figure this this year that's this year that Safari has produced. I like the sculpt. I really like how the feathers are structured on it. Most of the time when people make feathered figures, they just make a plain figure and slap feathers onto it. Meanwhile in this case, it's very clear that they started out... I'm trying to think of a way to describe it. Here, it, it, it's obvious that they structured it properly to encompass the feathers. I also really like the paint scheme. I really like how the paint scheme is kind of eagle-like. I really think that when people try to represent feathered dinosaurs in fiction, we should make the colours after real-life animals. And this is a example of that, a feathered Deinonychus with the colours of an eagle. This, this one is very similar to the one that Papo and I believe Collector released one? Released one, I believe. 
So I have a collector EO Safari, cl at least another feathered raptorid. So, if it's not really any negatives to say, it looks good. Ah, I have thought of one negative. It's a tripod figure. Be because look at it. <laughs> It's counting on its tail to balance. It's ca it's counting its tails to stop it from falling backwards. Backwards. Meanwhile, I prefer figures that like can stand there, and the tail is actually there to encompass the weight of the front, because that is what they had the tails for. Dinosaurs had tails to 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 encompass the weight for the front of the body. Not to make them stand like a tripod. That's really the only fault I can think of a figure. The positives I've already mentioned. The sculpting looks decent. The, the colours are really good. And the, only, and the only negative is that it's a tripod. So... I'll probably end up picking this thing up, so so I can put it up with other other pepper rapid rapted that that I, that I plan to get in the future. So, moving on to the next one, and here we have the Dilophosaurus, probably the most painfully average figure of. Of farm safari for this for this year. What on earth has gone on with my voice today? Anyways, it looks all right. The sculpting is all right. I really like how long the neck is, and how long the tail is. But once again, it seems to be another tripod figure. Uh, and oh, and I also really like the claws. And and why they're positioned, and that the the only video really fault I can point out with, with the sculpt, it's something with the face. I don't know what. But 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 but, but that's also a fault with the painting. Just the face. There's something about it that I don't like. I think it's primarily the paint on me. Head that puts me off of it, because the paint seems badly applied to it. Because l looking at it up close, there seems to be black paint dripping off it, dripping off its lips, and the paint just seems splodged onto its eyes. And it looks like <laughs> I'm trying to think of a way to describe this. It looks like there's a massive black line going up its head in between the crests. I do not like that at all. Wait a second. At the position where it looks like, at the angle that the angle that it's at, it looks like it only has one nostril. Because the way that's positioned on the side of the face that you're looking at, you should. You sh you should be able to see the other the other nostril on the other side of the head, but no, there's nothing there. Ooh, I don't like that. <laughs> so <laughs> this is another. I guess you can say it's not really a remake. This is. <coughs> I'm trying to think of a way to... Try, once again, I'm trying to come up with a way to describe it. This is... I won't say reboot. Ah, remake. This is another remake of a past figure. Because Safari made another Dalphosaurus in the past. I don't really like that one. I think it's overrated. And this figure... It does improve on it in some places. With, with longer neck and the better looking arms. But, the face, looking at it right now, the face just ruins it for me. Because, 
It looks like it's going through an emo phase. It looks like it's wearing tons of eyeliner. It, it it looks like it just ate something that had black blood, and it has a a black line going in between its crests to its mouth. I do not like that. But anyways, I don't really need this figure anyway, because I have got the Papo Dilo. I'm saying this now. I'm going to stand at this point. The Papo Dilo is the, pe is the best Dilo ever made. Well, by company standards. If the, if the, the slight one isn't good... Has Collector made one? I don't know if Collector's made one. And I don't really like either of the furry ones that, that includes this one. And, and meanwhile, the Papo Dilosaurus actually looks good. So, I'm gonna state my opinion there. <laughs> so, I don't plan to get this figure, in my opinion, in my opinion, it doesn't look that good. I'll just stick to my Papodarthosaurus, please. And now we have one of the two, I believe, herbivores. The Edmontosaurus. Now, there are quite a few positives with this, but one fatal flaw. I'd say the positives are definitely the sculpt. I really like all the detail p packed into this thing. If, 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 uh, the only thing I really like to point out I don't really like about the sculpt is the legs. Mainly the back foot. Because as, as you see in, in the back foot, it's kind of on the ground and kind of in the air. Now, I hate figures which do this. Because you might be in certain situations where, where you're trying to put it somewhere, but this off-balance foot just ruins the whole thing. I, even with four-legged figures, I still don't like that. To me, it's just... It just kills the appeal. As for the paint, it looks pretty good. I really like how you have the re relatively light colours, and then and then on the back and around the body, there, there are dashes of dark brown. Now, there is one fatal flaw of this, which is. This massive thing on the back of its head. Now, once again, I'm not sure if Edmontosaurus was like this. But, I know the Edmontosaurus in Jurassic World Evolution had something similar to this, so I'm going to assume it's a thing. But even in this example... Okay, have any of you... Have any of you seen this movie with Will Ferrell called Land of the Lost, I believe? And, 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 there, and there's a scene where this massive mosquito draws blood from Will Ferrell's character and becomes one massive bloody bulge on its back on his back. This looks like that. This little hump on um, this little hump on the back of its head. Looks like a leech has gone onto it and started sucking blood from it, and it's become massive. I do not like that at all. <laughs> to me, that little hump kills the whole entire figure. I would have bought. I probably would have bought a figure if it wasn't thanks to the giant hump. So, due to that, I won't be getting the figure. <laughs> so. We've even gone to the next one, I guess. Now here we have the Ichthyosaurus. Now I'm not that big into aquatic figures, just because, to be honest, I'm not really that bothered in aquatic figures. Just none of the species particularly interest me. And this looks alright. 
we scoped just looks bland and the paint is pretty good on it. I, I can tell I can tell this figure is, is is inspired by an orca with the way it uses its white and blue. Uh, white and blue, I apologize for that. B because b because the way it has black and white on the body. But I'd like to point out one thing here. <clears throat> its eyes. What is going on with its eyes? It, its eyes are so intense. It's it just It looks like it's having a it looks like it's having a Vietnam flashback. It it, it looks it looks horrified. It, it, it just it's just if you place this on your display shelf, you'd just have it. I would personally place this in a situation where it was staring at something relatively scary from from a Ichthyosaurus's point of view. Just because it looks so intense, it's just intensely staring at something. So apart from that. I don't really like the figure, so I probably won't have it. I probably won't end up picking it up. So, moving on. Here we have one of my personal figures from Safari in 2019, the Pachycephalosaurus. Now, I really like the sculpt on this guy. I really like the detail that's packed into it. I really like just. I really like how it's just in a neutral position. It's not. If its feet aren't all over the place, if it doesn't look traumatized, it doesn't look like it's staring at something from a distance. I really like the sculpt. Now I also really like the paint. I really like the orange and silver uh, along the body. Uh, along with the black on its head and there seems to be little black rings around what seem to be sp sp are those spikes or lumps? Uh, I'm assuming that that's a part of the actual sculpt for white bits that are sticking out and not just white dots. To be honest, I can't really tell. Either way, I like this figure. It's just I like its paint, I like its sculpt. There's no particular reason why I should love it. There's no particular there's no particular reason why I should hate it. It looks good. But there's one problem with this figure. But I will acknowledge it's not with the actual figure itself. It's with its pricing. Because in the picture right now, it looks pretty small. But the price isn't, because I'm pretty sure that this thing costs like twenty pound. How does this cost twenty pound? That that's another thing. With, that's another thing with with the Papal Gorgosaurus. Like yes, I bought the figure, but it costs twenty pound. I, I forgot the price for it, but I'm pretty sure it costs. A piece of a Papagorgosaur cost like twenty pounds, and that thing is tiny, and I'm still pissed off about that. And this is a, this is another situation like that, where the price is pretty big, but but, but what you're getting is pretty small. Why does this figure cost so much? It's because of all the detail. I mean, I mean, I mean like, it was done first. A collector sold the Nazodoceratops for like a fiver, and that looks to be on the same quality with this. Just, just, just looking at it right now, because the Nazodoceratops is on the other side of my room. 
first to fight the collector and Azuto Ceratops cost a fiver. And it looks to be around about the same size as this. I do not like that at all. <laughs> if, if I ever get a chance to get it to like for a tenner, I probably will get it. But I will not be wanting this thing if it costs twenty pound. And now here we are with in my opinion, one of the worst figures that Safari is producing this year. The Sarkosuchus. Now, I don't know what's up with this thing. But, but it looks like it's out of a cartoon. It looks like somebody made a cartoon about about a Sarkosuchus and somebody just reached their hand into it and grabbed it and took it out. I don't know why, it's just something about it that just screams cartoon. Not like there's anything wrong with cartoons. I I love animated f things and I, I, I love I love animated franchises. But this this is like something slight would do. It's like slight. It, it it it's like Safari, saw sort of slightest success, and 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 thought, ooh, they're making lots of money, being very successful because they're making cartoonish figures, and why don't we do the same thing? And this is the end product. I don't know why, but when you compare this. To something like a Pachycephalosaurus. Pachycephalosaurus looks like a natural animal. Meanwhile, once again, this would look. This looks like something that would come out of, come out of an animated show. Now, it would be fine if it looked like it came out of an animated show. If I wanted it to look like that, I, I'm not speaking for most. I'm not speaking for all collectors here. But I personally want figures that look realistic. But this here, this does not look like that. This here looks like somebody tried to draw a cartoonish version of it, of a Sarkasukas. I do not like this figure, and I will not be picking it up. Now here we have Thing 1. I do not know what this thing is. I've never seen this thing before in my whole entire life. And what is that name? I'm going to try and pronounce the name. Quinazosaurus. Quinazosaurus. I, I know that's not right, I know I'm saying it wrong. I'm not doing this on purpose, I, I don't know how to pronounce that name. What are these names? Who came up with this name? That is a horrible name. And for the actual figure, it looks alright. It, it looks bland. The paint is bland, it's just this orangey yellow. But I will say, I do like the head. I really do like how long and narrow the jaw is, along with these four bumps on the top of its head. And I'd say that's the only real points for figure if I make it stand out. Apart from that, everything else just looks like your average Tyrannosaurid. Because I'm pretty sure this thing is a, is a Tyrannosaurid of some shot. Well, I'm pretty sure this thing is a Tyrannosaurid. I have no desire to get this figure due to me not knowing what this thing is, and even if I did, I wouldn't desire to get it, because it, it looks bland. There's just nothing about it, it's not painfully average, it's not good, it's not bad, it's bland, it's average. But it's but thing is, is it better to be, is it better to be bad or is it better to be average? 
I don't know, I'll get on to that later. I've got no desire to get this figure, and I probably won't end up getting it. And here we have... Thing 2! I've got no clue what this thing is. It... Again, again, that's another name I can't pronounce it. I'm going to try and say it. Shring... Shringosaurus. Is that... I'd say that was a pretty good pronunciation. Shringosaur... Shringasaurus. But as for the actual figure, it looks ridiculous. It looks like a titan you'd see in Godzilla King of the Monsters. It looks like you sat somebody down... It, 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 it looked like you sat down a child and told them, Hey, a draw something that you think looks cool. And they drew this. It looks like a Edaphosaurus without the spine with Carnotaurus horns. Now, that's probably due to this thing being real, but I do not like the way it's pulled off here. The first thing that pops out to me is the toes. It has five toes! I, it, I don't know why, but just looking at it just sets something off. Just looking at it just sets something off in my head. Hey, I don't particularly like the sculpt, but I will say I do like how, like, folks, behind the front leg, you, you can see as it's moving its leg, you can see the muscle bulging out. I do like stuff like that. And the paint. I actually do like the paint. To me, the, to me, I, 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 on the body, at, at least, on the main torso, at least, it kind of looks volcanic, with the with the blackish browns, with the bright orange going down its body. I'll give it, a, I'll give it that. The colors do look good, but once again, just like the one we just looked at. It looks alright. Even with those things, there's nothing about it that makes it stand out. There's nothing about it that makes it look terrible. It looks average. Nothing particularly great, nothing particularly bad. It looks alright. I won't get it. Like most figure like most of the figures in this line. So those were Safari's figures. For 2020. My opinion, this is very disappointing because most of the figures here look bland. Most of these figures just, just look like painfully average. Most of, the, most of these figures look like filler. And I think most of these are just here just for the right of being there. It doesn't look like anybody tried to go out of their way to try and make a good figure. It looks like somebody thought, ooh, why don't we make this obscure dinosaur? Which people love that, in which, yes, we do really like when you make obscure dinosaurs, but we won't buy the obscure dinosaur if, this fi if, it, if, if the obscure dinosaur doesn't look good. It doesn't look great, it doesn't look bad. It looks alright, it looks painfully average. In my opinion, this is stepping stepping back. Because, like, 2017, with the Safari Giganotosaurus, and I'm pretty sure that came out with the Ankylosaur as well, I've had or of the Ankylosaurus last year. These figures, like yes, they're relatively known dinosaurs. But these figures actively look good. It looks like somebody had an idea about what to do for this certain thing and did it. Meanwhile, with most of these figures, it looks like Safari wasn't 
trying. The only real figures that are standouts to me is the Dinonychus and the is the Dino is the Dinonychus and the Pachycephalosaurus. Two, two out of how many? Eight. <laughs> One out of four figures here actually looks good. It, it, that just astounds me. It it it's like Safari heard the backlash from last year about the swimming Spinosaurus. And, and they went, oh, they don't like that, oh, maybe we should make, maybe we should play it safe this year. And this is what playing itself, and, and this is what playing safe looks like. It gives you painfully average figures. In my opinion, this has been a disappointing year for, well, next year. It's going to be a disappointing year for Safari. But, who knows, Papo and Collector most likely will make make it up, m m make up for this, because I am actively excited to see Collector's next range, and I'm going to admit it here, I'm a Papo fanboy, I'm excited for Papo's next line, along with their Spinosaurus that's meant to be coming out in December now. Due to it being delayed a lot, but I'm getting off topic here. Next year looks painfully average for Safari. There are only two figures I'd really say that stand out, and I won't begin one of them because the price is outrageous. So, out of eight figures, I'll probably end up getting one: the Deinonychus. That is very, very, very disappointing for a company that used to be one of the highest companies of them all. Has now descended into making p painfully average figures. I'm disappointed. I'm very disappointed. So thank you all so much for watching. And here is Ndomsexio1 signing out.